So we're at home with Andrea Bank. Um, so what have you been up to lately, Andrea? Um, well, since the competition season finished, um, the only Mamame trainer came up from Germany for 10 days of intense training and um, it's a really great time to train with Leone because there's no competitions coming up so we can really work the horses hard and push them on to the next stage so that was um, in May fun. this year I went over to the Sydney CBI with my teammate Abby Deacon um, we were selected to ride for New Zealand in the Derby and it was a wonderful experience and a very challenging time and it always is with Derbys because you never know what horse you're going to select um, I had a horse that hadn't been uh, worked for a year and was in work for six weeks prior and had problems with its changes and yeah, it was it was challenging and it's always good to be challenged and it doesn't always go according to plan but um, we took out of it what we could and it was a wonderful experience. Um, since then I came home and then I also went, was lucky enough to go over to watch the Melbourne three day event which was really, really cool to watch because I'm not an eventer and I would never have the guts to be but it was um, great to watch the other athletes and admire them. Um, and yeah, so I've just been, it's winter time at the moment and it's horrible and muddy and wet and so I've just been training hard at home with my, my team of horses and also doing a lot. Right, so what are your plans for the upcoming season? Um, well, I will be campaigning Doreen Court at Pre St George into one level for another season. Um, he's obviously only did a few competitions towards the end of last season at that level so he's pretty green still. Um, Fortuous as well, I will be doing the same, although I really would like to move him onto Grand Prix at some stage. We're really consolidating at home with that work and it's going well, so um, yeah, it's just timing really. Um, and also I'm excited to be riding um, a broodmare that we got from Germany well, two years ago now. Um, she was in foal last year and she's five and she's a Bellissimo mare for Kara, so I'll be doing the lower levels on her, which I'm excited to have a young horse out competing again. Um, I'm not really sure what my plans are um, for next year. I'm really aiming to take off overseas with Roy and maybe Fortuous. It just depends if I can get some funding behind me. Um, so, yeah, it's a bit up in the air when we will be going, but that's the plan, so I'm really excited. The Doreen Court must have a few um, progeny on the ground now. That must be exciting for you. Yeah, it really is exciting for us. And um, actually, two weeks ago, I had a sit on our our um, eldest um, colt, Rico. He's two and a half, and so he'll be. He's gone. He's been put out in the paddock just for a few more months to grow, and then he'll come back in and be properly broken in. Um, but no, he's got some really beautiful foals on the ground. We're Every single one of them we're absolutely thrilled with and so are the owners. They're all really stunning looking with great temperaments and beautiful um, straight legs and really built uphill. So it's, it's, it's really exciting and um, it was exciting for us last year to put our imported mare in foal, which Leonie and Volker tried to match her with um, Roy so we could get a really good baby and so... Um, she had a beautiful filly, so we're very excited about her. They're, they're just young at the moment, so um, there's, you know, I won't be riding them for a few more years, but it's very, very exciting. Um, he will, I'm sure, have a busy breeding season. Um, I'm not, I, he's primarily my riding horse, so I don't want to thrash him, you know, with the breeding, because it's, they're doing the opposite to what I want them to do. Um, and so he has to get lots of physio and massage, so he stays really good for riding. Um, but yeah, I, I think it will be his last season standing in New Zealand for a while. Um, so yeah, he will have to get in there before he goes. <laughs> and how's your teaching going? Uh, I absolutely love it. Um, I think I'm really lucky to be able to teach some riders don't like teaching and just ride and others just like teaching and not, you know, so it's, I think I'm lucky to be able to do both and really enjoy it. Um, I'm heading off to Christchurch this weekend and then in a few weeks I'm heading to Waikato, so it's cool to go around the country and try and help as many people as possible 
And that's also another uh, reason I want to be going overseas, because not only for my writing, but I'd really love to put um, back into New Zealand a lot of knowledge. And I feel like the only way to do that is by going to Europe and getting amongst all the, the top trainers and writers and getting as much experience and knowledge behind me as possible. You've had a, a great season. You've got some good support behind you. Tell us a little bit about your sponsors. Um, yeah, I feel so lucky with the support that I that I have at the moment and the team of sponsors I've got behind me. Um, my main one, obviously, is Prestige. Um, I ride in the D1 saddle, the Prestige D1, and it's like just been my life saviour. It, it just fits me like a glove and my horses. I can't believe the change in them and... Um, I just feel really, really spoiled to um, have them on board. Um, yeah, the saddle is, is just phenomenal and it's really made for an athlete. Um, so it, it really helps your horses um, feel out and allow, allows them to really move in their shoulders and it's just, it's just amazing. So um, I also have a great joint supplement on board, Hyperflex HA, which my horses are going really well on, so I'm thrilled about that. Um, Roy and Fortress also get sponsored by the High Shine Oil, and so it keeps the coats looking beautiful and shiny over the competition season. Um, and I've recently landed two new sponsors, Gigi Eyewear, which is an Australian company which sponsors the riders' um, riding glasses. And I've actually never ridden in glasses before, but these the lenses are just amazing, and you don't even notice you're riding in them, so they're great for the protecting your eyes in the New Zealand sun. Um, also, I've just landed Thomas Cook um, Australia and New Zealand sponsorship. They've asked me to be the face for it in um, both countries, so I'm really thrilled about that. They've just bought out a new equestrian range, and it's affordable and really high quality, so and stylish as well. So um, I'm very excited to be wearing that. And also, Roy is getting sponsored by Shire's Covers. So um, yeah, thanks to all my sponsors and. It's just really, um, obviously, great to have the backing behind you because it is such an expensive sport and I guess every, every little bit counts.